Hi, I'm Sebastian from BMAX, and in this video, I'll show you how you can take the calibration results from this MC2 and make them into a calibration certificate in a few and easy steps. This here is an MC2 calibrator. It does pressure, temperature, and electrical signals, and it's also a documenting calibrator, which means that while calibrating, it will record the results and store them in the memory. You might need to update your own MC2 uh, to be enabling this feature, and this is free of cost. You go to our website and download the upgrade, and there's also a video showing you how to do this. Logical is an ideal companion to the MC2, and this is a cloud-based calibration solution. You can access it through your PC by going to a web browser and going to the address logical.bmx.com. Sign up to get access to the platform. In Logical, you can create your own plant structure to represent your own factory or facility with all the instrument data needed to perform calibrations. And you can try out Logical free of charge to see how it fits you and your organization. In this example, I will be calibrating this analog temperature transmitter with the help of the MC2 and Logical. To start off, I will send my instrument to the calibrator and then perform the calibration action. I choose my instrument and I check out the instrument and send it to the calibrator by choosing which calibrator to use. And I find my MC2 here in the list. I also then have to choose the template, how to perform the calibration itself. Then we'll need to do some port modifications, and then procedure will be an automatic calibration. And this will be assigned to me, and I can check out the calibration. Before you are able to perform the calibration work, you need to synchronize the MC2 and Logical. And you do it in the Logical Sync application by pressing the button Synchronize. To execute the calibration event itself, go to MC2 menu, choose instrument calibration, and you will be presented with the instrument that you just synchronized from Logical. In this view, you will be shown both the upper and lower error limits together with the zero line. And when I hit start, the calibrator will then perform the calibration for you. It will show you where the input and output signals are and record the data to the memory. You will then be presented with the passed or failed result. In this case, it was passed. And I can also then view the results, both in graphical and numerical views. Save the results as found and it's stored. After performing a calibration event, you go back to Logical and synchronize the results. This is done by pressing the synchronize button. When it has done synchronizing, you go into Logical and locate your calibration results here. You can then either view it or print it if needed. For more information and videos, please visit the BMX website and our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.